Hello everyone, my name is Adish Abadhyay and today we are back with another Smartivity set to unbox, build and review. So today we have the Smartivity Steam Globe Trotters. This looks like a fun set. Um, we have a globe, we have this knob, we have North and South Pole written here. We have these two compass type of things which we can flick. We have the player pegs and we even have some dice this dice so yeah i think this is gonna be a very nice set we're gonna have fun building it so let's take a look at the back we're gonna learn about geographic coordinate system day and night and trade routes trade routes wow we have 10 high quality wooden sheets one map for the globe and the instruction booklet we have 236 loose, loose parts and the globe trotters app which we can access to which like, sorry which we can access with our device so let's open it up yeah we've made it there oh, this box has a kind of glossy finish unlike the other boxes so Covering, throw it in the bin, and let's open this box. Oh, wow. Okay, this is a lot of parts. We have the player pegs, all of the different colored player pegs. That's a lot. Then we have the small bands, the tiny bands, foam parts. We'll put those aside. More and even more foam parts. We have the instruction booklet, part one and part two. We have these paper things along with this uh, string. We have this uh, I'm a maker, I love smartivity certificate. So I'll fill that in later. We have this map, which we're gonna use for the globe. And we have 10 of the wooden sheets including this uh this informative sheet the territory board so i think we got the sheets in order yeah i guess we did oh my god that's a lot we have the plugs and yeah we have the plugs we have some o-rings and medium bands and some more tiny bands so overall this looks huge i can't wait to see the finished result this has to be like the biggest smartivity set that i've ever built so let's open instruction booklet part one and get building in the time lapse in three two one So we've finished the stand of the globe. This is step one out of five. There are five steps. We're gonna make the sphere next, then we're gonna attach the map to it, then we're gonna do the second side build kind of thing. So this even has this knob that rotates. I'm not sure what it's for though, but it looks like we'll have to figure it out. And it even uses this paper piece. So that's kind of cool. So overall, this kind of looks good. It, it's taking shape already. That's pretty nice. So yeah, um, 
I am continuing the time lapse in three, two, one. So after completing the stand, we have completed this big sphere that's going to be like the baseline of the map or like the globe. So this yellow part over here, it acts like a stopper when it collides with the teeth so that you don't overspin. So if I move that back, then it's, it kind of overspins. So to avoid that happening, there's this ensure in its place so that it can make sure that the globe slides smoothly. So apart from that, I still haven't figured out what this knob is useful for, but I guess we're gonna find out now because we're gonna start with step three, the jig. So let's begin again in a time lapse in three, two, one. So we finished the outer globe and we've also added, uh, we've replaced the jig with this, um, with these north and south pole indicators. And we also replaced um, the flower type, of, yeah, we replaced this piece with a gear over here so that we can turn the globe with the knob over here that and we also have these player one and player two um compass map kind of things sorry not yeah so it has a compass type of design we have to flick flick it player one starts in china and finishes in brazil i think uh yeah somewhere in south america so that's how they have to race across the globe and player two they have to flick it one second there to flex it. They start from, let's see, where is it? So you have to look at the symbol, identify the symbol and search for the place. So North America and finish over here at the polar, at the polar bear. So the jig helped in um, actually like pressing all of these inside the pins. And apart from that, even manually, you have to press it in a bit. And honestly, this is very nice. So I finished um, C and D in one time lapse. Now let's move on with E in three, two, one.
So after a bunch of time lapses, we finally completed the globe, the storage box. We completed the first instruction manual and read through the second instruction manual. The second instruction manual is all about how to play. So let's take a look. We'll be taking a look at both of these um, things. I'll show you how to lock it in place and how to unlock it. We'll show you the contents of the storage box and I'll explain to you how to play the game. So looking at the globe, let's put that aside. The globe, it's very detailed, like it has a lot of parts. Plus it has this knob, which you can turn to turn the globe. The knob is um, controlled by, like the knob's mechanism is due to these two gears, which move. So we can use the knob to represent the Earth's rotation. Wait, pause this thing, this untaped. Yeah, so as you can see, we have the seven continents on this. So we have to place two knobs, uh, two pegs on two knobs in that, uh, in that um, what do you call it, continent. So that continent becomes our territory. So your opponent can visit the territory. Yeah, they can visit the territory, but they can't claim any points in your territory. So the person who claims the most territories by the end of the game wins. So apart from that, yeah, <laughs> thank you very much for viewing this. I'll just set this back. By the way, there's just one more thing. This is the mobile stand. So you can put your mobile on this and you can um, turn, you can, you have to first of all, download the augmented reality app, um, Smartivity Globe Totters. Then you have to download that app and like I said, you can see the icons and the names of the co uh, continents on this. So that's interesting. Now let's put everything back and get to signing the sheet. After that, I'll be ending the video. So let's put all of these back. Let's close this. Oh wait, I forgot the dice. <laughs> Let's put the dice in. Let's close it up. And lock it like that. So if you can remember, I showed you the locking mechanism. I'll go over it again. You have to take these two, um, these two outer facing things and put place them into these two holes. Do them on both sides at a time like that. Then rest the globe. And if you look at the back, you have these two pieces. They entered the holes. So you have to click both of the pieces into the holes. Then your globe is locked into place. So now let's get to signing the sheet. The Smartivity box name is, one second, sorry, I made a mistake. Globe Trotters. Then, it took two hours and 30 minutes to build this. I'll fill in all of this later and the feedback. I'll just sign this. And thank you very much for viewing this video. Thank you to firsttoys.com for giving, providing me with the Smartivity sets and publishing um, the blogs on the website. Please go to firsttoys.com, the website, buy some toys, you get huge, unbelievable discounts and also you yeah so thank you for viewing this video please go to www.firsttoys.com read my blogs and buy some toys so thank you very much bye see you all in the next video